Good morning. So today I'm going to take you along with me during my day so that you know what life as a physical therapist assistant is like. I got up extra early so that I could get in a run. I'm going to do this run on a trail right on the beach. What better way to start my day before work than a run with an ocean view? Don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. There's much more to come. And let's go ahead and start our day. Okay guys, I've arrived at the beach as you can see and I am going to head out and get running so that I can get my workday going but just wanted to let you know how important it is to fit exercise into your daily routine. It makes you feel so much better, it helps you deal with people better, especially with a job like me where I'm always talking to people and dealing with them and helping them. If you can help yourself first by exercising and being active you're gonna be able to perform a lot better with whatever job you do. So I decided to get up earlier than usual and head out to the beach. So I'm gonna get out and run and then I'll get back to you after the run and give you a little report. Looking forward to seeing you when I get back and I'm gonna head out and get running. So I did about 4.1 miles and it was just Beautiful, right by the ocean. Try to take it easy, but I always look down and my pace a little faster than I was planning on. Just wanted to inform you of a great app that helps motivate you to work out. You can use it for running, gym, any sort of cardio. It's called Strava. And Strava was, I think, originally made for runners and bikers. Basically, you record from your smartwatch to the app. You can post your workout for the day on a feed and then you can find your friends and you can see what they did. So sometimes in my head, it helps me to motivate myself because I'm gonna be posting my run. And so it helps me to either go further or faster. It kind of just puts you out there, gives you other ways to motivate yourself. I forgot to let you guys know or remind you that my job is actually home health physical therapy. Hence, driving to the beach and having my first couple people here in the same city. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, no shower, don't judge, and head to my first couple people. And I'll check in with you later and let you know how it goes. Okay, so I finished three patients and I have a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna grab a drink and a snack. I wanted to give you some information on why I decided to become a licensed physical therapist assistant. Quick story, I got my bachelor's in exercise sports science slash kinesiology and then decided I didn't want to do physical therapy. I started nursing school, didn't like that, and then decided to get a master's in coaching and athletic administration, hoping to be a college professor and then coach running. Usually teaching and coaching go together, but I couldn't find a job. So I had, you know, all this debt and no job and was just working at just dead end jobs because there was nothing with a master's degree. I went full circle back from what I wanted to do in the beginning, which was physical therapy, back to physical therapy, but instead of doing the three-year doctoral program, I did a two-year program, which makes you a licensed physical therapist assistant and not a physical therapist, which is fine. Uh, you make a little less money, but no debt because I went to a community college. It was harder to get into, but because of my background, it made it easier. Going to a career college is also an option. It's a little more money, well, a lot more money. Overall, it was so worth it to do this because this job is so flexible. You can do home health, you can do clinic, you can do hospital, you can do rehab, you can do skilled nursing facility. I found that I like home health the best because I am an independent person. I like to be on my own. I don't like to be stuck in a clinic under fluorescent lights all day. So driving around, seeing people on my own, was my best option. I did three years of clinic and decided 
decided it wasn't for me. Three and a half years of clinic. And decided it wasn't for me. When I started doing home health, I was like, this is, this is for me. This is my job. I love helping people, using my brain, being active. If you're looking for a job in that area and you can't decide between PT and physical therapist assistant, PTA, I personally think the best way to go, unless you want to start your own business, is PT assistant because you don't have a huge amount of debt, 150 grand plus these days, and the schooling is a little less stressful. It's still pretty difficult, but if you want to work in this field and you're not one to want to be in three more years of school, choose PTA. There's tons of schools. I'll link something in the description that will help you find more information about different schools for physical therapist assistant. And if you have any questions, comment below. I'm always happy to help give you advice and suggestions as far as this career goes, but I'm going to go ahead, get on with my day and I'll take you along. All right, let's go. So, I'm going to talk to you real quick about why I decided to go into physical therapy. First, I really was interested in it and realized I didn't want to be in a clinic all day. Over the years, I had tons of different injuries and always wanted to figure them out. And it was just something I was interested in because I wanted to be back into running and I was a competitive runner. So, I decided that by learning about the body, I would be able to help myself and then be able to help others. By having all these injuries myself and learning how to fix them, I'm able to recognize these injuries more in other people and as a result be a better physical therapist assistant. So if you choose to be a physical therapist assistant, find your reason because if you're just going into it to go into it because it, it's a good job, then you might not get out of it what you want. Find your reason. You have to be passionate about the body and how it works because if you are, then you're always gonna be wanting to learn something new. Again, if you have any more questions, go ahead, comment below, and I will be sure to answer you. Okay guys, so I got one more person. I went home, took a shower because benefits of being a home health physical therapist assistant. And I remembered that it is St. Patrick's Day, so I made sure to change into green before I got pinched. We got one more person. I had two since I've last seen you, so I've had five. This is number six. We're gonna go ahead and head to the next person. Okie dokie, back to where I started this morning. Same town, I made a full circle around Southern Orange County. I'm gonna say one thing before I get to my last person, home health. You have to be able to enjoy driving and being on your own. If you need other people to motivate you, you might want to choose the clinic. So if you decide to go into the field, you have to try all three out and see what works for you. It's 6, 28 and I am home and I am done for the day. It was a long day, but I'll tell you the job is so worth it if you enjoy it. I'm going to head in and maybe get some dinner in me. All right, YouTube, that's the end of my video. I hope you learned a lot about being a physical therapist assistant. And if you have any questions, like I said below, comment and ask them. And before I end this video, if you decide that you are interested in being a physical therapist assistant, make sure to maybe go find a local clinic and ask them if you can observe. Just being able to be in the environment and see if you feel it, then you will know if that's something you should go into. Reach out to different companies and ask them and see See if they'll allow you to just shadow. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and follow both of my Instagrams. And with that being said,